people. Hello, guys. Hello. Oh, I'm so, oh. sorry. I hit you. <laughs> you guys, um, my bad. Why didn't anybody tell me? We had, <laughs> you're so stupid. We had um, a cancellation, obviously. Some of y'all saw. We were supposed to be doing the clam chowder and the crab cakes. And then about 3 o'clock when we were en route-ish, because it takes about an hour to get there, um, he his daughter starts school in a few days. So, hey, rapper. So, obviously, priority, you guys. For me, for you guys, and for me, for my, my family, too. Family first, and he has to get some stuff for his daughter for her to start school. So, I'm a completely understanding on it. It just threw us off because we had already made few uh reservations of Mexico hi mama mama I love you let me just say that um one time I was hold, hold that thought oh lord because <laughs> they... <laughs> they're not supposed to be down here um <laughs> you guys there. you wore his because the lions are like on a streak Joe thinks hey, they're they're already picked to win the Super Bowl I know I know um you guys so anyways um the thing is, I was going, um, I was just like not feeling the greatest picks. And I was just kind of like down, just, uh, uh, some, it was just frustrating. Somebody had my name in their mouth and I was a little like, Bleh. and so I was just kind of like searching through and I was like, let me go see what's going on over on, on this. And I just heard you giggling away. And I just want to tell you, mama, you literally lifted my spirits. Um, and it made me feel so good. It really, really did. Um, I can't even tell you that it makes such a difference having just positiveness around you. And it just felt good that I heard you laughing. And then um, it's just having a good time. And I think it was a replay um, because I don't think nobody was live. So I was listening to D Dis had you up there. Then I went over to Wispy and she was laughing. And it's just, I love that I have people that I follow that are laughing and having Joe shut up I'm gonna punch him I just love it um the positiveness you're laughing up on there hey Regent Regent we're going to Michigan and we're gonna go through Texarkana we well we're either gonna go south to Houston and then go around the ocean and then up um like through Mobile Alabama Texarkana like not Texarkana um Mobile Alabama like it's like this and then go upward. So we're trying to figure out what route, but we're going to Michigan next week. So, hey, Salty. Okay, guys. So I just wanted to tell you guys, you guys, keep positive around you guys. Pixie Girl, you didn't. You didn't even know you did it. Wispy does it. And, and I, that's why I, I really don't get on many panels. I go to Dis and I go over to Wispy's. And that's like the only place because the, the pot is, positiveness for me is all I'm about. I'm about just that. I love, love, love I laughing, longer. giggling, positive. To let them out again? Out again? Um, no. We're watching our neighbor's dogs. So, um, Mike, if you're watching, we're letting your dogs out. Don't worry. <laughs> just I'll kidding. let them out in an hour. We're going to do, um, you guys, this is why we chose gnocchi. Because last night, remember, we cut, um, remember, if anybody saw the, the potato skins, Joe used the potato. Let's say, get, get me a potato, baby. Huh? A potato. So I, you guys, I defrosted. Um, I defrosted a loaf of bread, and look at. I'm making bread. Bread like in in our town, we have a place that we love. They're called bread bites. They're like dough balls, dough balls, and then we're trying to recreate Little Caesars bread sticks. We'll let you know how it goes. Well, we don't want to give you guys a recipe until it works. And then when it works, we're like, hey, let's show them what's up. Okay. Potato. Last night, Joe did this. He cut this. Uh -oh. Let's just say he's taking that much out. I can't see it. Oh, <laughs> hold on, y'all. So last night, Joe did this. He cut like <laughs> that <laughs> and like that much. Okay. And then he cut down and he took like that much of the meat out. So let's just take the skin so you guys Here, can see just, an idea. I'll, I'll just cut it. No, I, no, I, I, cut I don't want to. No, I'm okay. So he took about that much out, you guys. See, he went in the middle to lessen both of them. And he did it with all the potatoes. So that's what we have here is the innards. Okay. So here's the inner. That's the size that he did last night. 
We I went got the through in three thirds, basically. Yes, and basically in thirds. in thirds. So we went through all of these, and we took all the. I'm just trying to show you guys. You guys know we're not about dumping things here. Okay. Last time we did this, we had made chorizo mexicano. That means a Mexi That means chorizo sausage, Mexican sausage. Chorizo mexicano the night before, and we took the innards out, and we used them the next day to make chorizo and papas. That's what we did with this. You put oil because they were in, still in big chunks of potato and they were literally done, but we just didn't want to discard them. We didn't want to do anything. So what we did was take all the skins out, skins out of your potatoes. Okay, guys, these are all from last night, the innards that we had. That sounds really gross, but that's what they are. The middle, the third, Joe did the one, two, and the third part. In, in the middle, the, yeah, we just, Discarded the middle part, and that's what's in there. Yes. So we are going to get these little papitos. Okay, wait. Let me finish talking to you guys. Do they understand? Okay, so we're going to start making gnocchi. And we wanted to use that to show you guys, like, don't dump your... Not, uh, not that you would dump, but I'm just saying, like, I'm all about repurposing what you have. It's money. Money is money, and money is you. And you don't want... I don't want to dump my money, and I don't want you dumping your money. So we're gonna use what we had last night. Um, oh, you wanna get the water boiling? Oh, wait, sure. no, wait, because it's gonna take a minute. Right. You guys, we did this one other time, so please, we're not, uh, oh, wait, well, let's get this mashed first. <laughs> Hello. Look more mashed. I would, we have another I'll mash. mash it while you're talking. Well, no, you know what you can do is separate this and get a yolk for me. All right. Well, as much as you can, Get a mash in it. If you have a ricer, you guys, can you see what I'm doing? I can't see. If anybody is texting me right now, Marissa, do you need, you can text me on the other line, mama. Or maybe it's my son. Um, okay. Do you have your gun off? My, no. Oh, you don't have it on you? No. Okay. I just didn't know if that's what they were texting about. No. We didn't put any butter in it, you guys. There's nothing in this right now. It's just the papa's that we had from yesterday with the skin removed. So let's just pretend you bake it. You bake your papas. You put them in there, you scoop it out like we did with our other things last night. That's, you can use that. You can boil potatoes. You don't have to do one or the other, okay? Just let me tell you that. You can do any way you can get mashed potato only, not mashed potatoes, mashed a potato. I don't want you to put milk in it. I don't want you to do anything to it because if you do all that to it, we're not probably not making gnocchi anymore. We're probably making mashed potatoes. And I, I, wa I want you guys to have a good outcome of this. And if anybody's asking, or we have a merchandise link, you guys, and I know we have aprons, but right now our aprons are in the back of the truck. We got to go wash them and it's taking us a minute. Okay, y'all, y'all go ahead with yourself. You're on top of your laundry, but this girl. All right, thank you. Where do you need it? This is not a good mash up. Hey, cabron. Esperate, 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 esperate. Ay, baby, mi amor. I don't know. Give it your cup just for now, bro. Um, here. Put the huevo in here. And you need just the yolk. Yeah, because the whole egg makes a little. It's a little too, too wet. wet that for what we want. Um, so I'm going to scrape all this onto my little surface. I was looking for my pastry uh, that I was just using okay. right there on the table. Just so I can, um, can you guys see what I'm doing? Probably not. They were over there by the knife. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? You want to, oh, you probably can't grab your phone and see what's going on. Just make sure we're in good. See how it looks, you guys? Hijo su. I'm going to make a little welt. You don't want to do it in a bowl? Why would you do it in a bowl? Everybody I saw do it on the counter. You're the only one that, when we did it last time, right. did it in a bowl. Okay. So we're doing this the way I saw it, babe. You don't try to take away and make it. Right. Uh, it's an Italian it thing, work. not an American thing. That's the yolk? That's the yolk. Where's the white? It's over here. Aw. Okay, let's go. I'll use it for uh, velvety. I'm going to... It, it, you this is i we're trying to guesstimate how much flour but it's usually a cup or a half a cup of flour but we didn't use potatoes we used innards potatoes so it's kind of hard to approximate so we're gonna just do that okay uh it looks like about two tablespoons of flour 
Sure. What do you think? Come uh, on, babe. About right. And we're putting a yolk. I'm um, just gonna put it everywhere. Let's put it in the middle. You think That's so? That's what you made a well for. Ay, cabrón. <laughs> <laughs> Why make the well? Why make the well if I'm gonna drizzle it everywhere? Shush. <laughs> okay, guys, here we go. And if bad get, if this doesn't work, we're gonna make the breadsticks that are behind us. Yeah. <laughs> so then you're gonna get, you can use this, and you're just gonna mash it all together. You guys, you you're some people. I don't um, know. Some people pay at Trader Joe's twelve dollars or whatever they want to pay. More? Go ahead, sprinkle it for me, baby. Cause it's wet. See how wet it is, you guys? Yeah. Go ahead. Um, some people pay $12 for gnocchi. It's literally a potato, you guys. And even if you don't have the paddle, oh my God, this is so, so wet. Yeah. Just did you do about, this? Just think about with the yolk. It with, with oh my the, God. The in there. How did you do it? You only I did it. I kept adding flour and adding flour. You're like, so I basically right now you put one egg in about, what is that about? Two uh, potatoes, I would two, say. Pota two full potatoes. One egg potatoes, yolk. One egg yolk. And you just keep putting flour in until you get a nice, smooth, dough, dry, and kind of firm, but still malleable. Because it's it's going to take a minute, you guys. I'm telling you, Joe was over here, but he had the yolk and the white, yeah. and it took I forever. I had it all. You guys, this is literally the, the job is to incorporate the flour with the yolk. And if you just keep folding it over, you're never going to do it. You got to literally incorporate it. Need it. Need it. I'm going to need more, Daddy. I'm going to kind of play with it. Hold on. Go ahead and put yeah. it in the middle. I'll do it up. There you go. You're going to need more than that. I know that. I know. I feel just, it. Yeah, you just keep going. In until there you right now, I had, right I had one cup, or one, um, one half a cup, you guys. I measured a half a cup in there. And Joe said he went, uh, how much papas did you have, baby, when you did it? Not very many. About the same amount. Okay. And he said he went through a cup of flour. Uh, at least, yeah. Went through a lot so of if you want to keep track of it, right. as of so now, I put a half a cup. That's what was in here. Baby, grab some more, please, from in the bag over there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get my paddle or my... You guys, the only way you're going to know, like some people are like, yeah, I was a little intimidated when I saw people making it. But the only way you're going to like, not conquer it. The only way you're going to know if you're able to make it is if you try it like you guys saw how we were with the tamales we literally were like oh my god are we sure are we sure are we sure that's a lot of money to spend on this stuff one of our subs was very nice to say hey i'm gonna send you the money because i had asked you to make them so she actually sent me hold on she sent me some money oh shit. oh yeah she sent me some money to pay for it then i felt obligated like oh my god they better work i don't want them to not work she just paid us I think it was like 50, 20, it was like 25 or something dollars because we bought the pork, the masa stuff, the corn husks. So it was very nice that she offered. The $20 went all towards it. We had to pay a little bit, but it was, I mean, we honestly, we pay for the stuff anyways when we're we're going to make stuff for you guys. You know what I mean? When we made ceviche, when we made shrimp uh, tacos or whatever we're making, the stuff for chicken cordon bleu, we're buying the stuff regardless. So sometimes that's why we said like sometimes we don't eat this kind of food like we probably uh, i don't know would we would we have made gnocchi maybe not mm. we hadn't made it now we're 50 and 60. Yeah, we've never made um that. but we just honestly we look for recipes that are going to be informational a knowledgeable thing you guys know now after you guys are done watching this video yeah, use you guys the rest of that and i think you're gonna be good you guys will are learning how to make gnocchi you're not just like hey we're hanging out with mitten and joe no we're teaching you guys how to make caramel corn how to make ice cream how to while make you're out, while you're hanging yeah because for sure we we would do different things yeah just not so many different things yeah that's i think that's it we wouldn't be going hey let's swing from yeah, the yeah, chandeliers yeah, we do like uh like you say chili dog night with with or or uh, any kind of hot dog night, we'd, we'd get every type of fixings that you could get. Mm -hmm. We'd make our own chili sauce, and then we'd make three or three different chili sauces for for everybody, you know, to try hot. Yeah, or, we just you know meat sauce, meat beefier, and bean. Yeah. I, we honestly just with want beans in it for people who like that. We want you guys to get um, a gain. Get, leave here gaining something. I mean, I think it's great. We're we're friends, and I think we gained friendship. 
but I, we really want you to gain something from being a part of our channel. I mean, that's great. I, you guys can go to other channels and hang out with them. And, and But honestly, if you guys, this is my mentality. Nobody has to be the way I am. I'm telling you how I am. I see it like this. If you are giving me one hour of your time, I want to give you something back. I want to give you something back. I want to give you knowledge of how to make something. I want to either give you something to... How does that feel to you? Oh, uh, yeah. It feels good. It feels like doughy, but I definitely feel like I need more. Need more? It's a little yeah. sticky still. I'm make, gonna, a, make a well. Hold on a second. Let me get this <laughs> off my fingers. I want you guys to have the... Um, you know, whether it be positive, uh, positive spirit when you leave. You came in and you were feeling down on yourself, but things are, you feel a little bit up now. You were able to release and feel good and talk to some friends and get some information that made you um, more inspired, you know, feel motivated now. You came in feeling down and now you're motivated. And once you get more in there, you guys, it does get easier to, to blend it. Like I'm mashing it like that. And that's the thing is you have to mash it because when you're going to cut it, it's the wet in, inside. If you don't have flour all the way in it, when you go to cut it and roll it on your little paddle, it it's going to be mushy. <laughs> we need a little, we're, we're creating a little gluten in there with the, with the flour. There you go. You know, and it's not as gluteny as you would without the potato. The potato does, you know, takes the gluten you know you need a lot for as much yeah you need some gluten in there to hold some stuff together and we're trying to get it to not be gooey yeah. versus firm yeah, it's going to be firm need more how are you doing no i think i might do a little bit more a for the last more. time right. but i want to take this off my hands right. Is that enough there you go thank you sir you want to go uh and you want to take wipe over? Them? Yeah, I'll do that for a little right. minute while you go wipe your hands. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, that, that part's over. You just got the, the so uckies sticky. off. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get the yuckies off there. Oh yeah, it's a little bit. We're gonna we're gonna go all the way with this. Ooh. -hoo. Yeah, you got the nice part. Yeah. Guys, thank you for coming in. Thank you, thank you. Joe's got his bread baker hat on, ready to roll. Oh yeah. Thank you, baby, for helping me out with that. Absolutely. Uh, let me get your phone so I can do. I'm gonna start this. Oh, let's wait so we can show them. Take our time showing them how to roll. All right. Excuse thank me. you. Sorry. I think we may have it there. Ooh, come on, I think really? So. I think that feels pretty good. Keep on, keep on with it. Feels good. Okay. I'm gonna get a fork if you want to start cutting them with the, the cutter, the pastry cutter. Let me rinse this off. It's off yeah. stuff. Low, low battery or something? It's froze. It's froze. It's froze. It's low battery. Thank you, honey. Okay. Sorry. Let me come Sorry about here that, and stick this back in. Yeah, go ahead. Sorry, guys. All right. Where's I'm the getting, thing? All of your messages didn't come on. Where's the thing? I'm, oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Just a minute. Just. All right. They've been. These texts the, don't give you notifications when it's turned off. Oh. Uh, and so they've been froze for a while. Let me just say that. Here's our dough. Sorry, Marissa. I'm just going to chunk this off here.
Sorry guys, I'm really sorry. Joe's phone, his notifications are off and because it was over there charging, it didn't even notify us. I, my bad, y'all. Thank you for that, whoever's stuck in, stuck with it. Marissa, thank you for telling me on this phone. <laughs> She's like, this bitch is not answering. <laughs> y'all are just, I apologize. Sorry guys, I'm really sorry. Joe's phone, mm -hmm. We gotta turn this off. So the idea is once you have it, in the most, like basically what you missed out on was me getting it to this. Oh, baby, you're going to need more. You need more? Yeah, this is sticky. You're going to need it dry, really dry, dry, flowery. Okay, give me some more flour, woman. And then roll it into your baby little worm stage. Ooh, nobody wants to hear that. It's okay. You can do each ball separate, nope, baby. It's fine. Uh, We're doing it all together. Well, you could have done one or two and we could have made it. Oh, fine. <laughs> ah, holy there you smokes. Go. Okay. Just push when you're done. Just push this up. What? What's for a second? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're already using that. Let me just put the dry stuff up. All right. Here, keep going. Yeah. Just it, it just felt sticky, right. and if it's sticky in any way, you guys, there's no way you're gonna be able to roll it. And it will keep the imprints. Like, it's just going to stick on to what we're going to roll it on. So it does need to be firmer than what I had it. And you guys, if you don't have a paddle, doesn't matter. We There's a little hack. So just thank me because I didn't invent the hack. I just found the hack. I found the little baby hack. How's it going? It's going good. All right, let me move out of the way and then you can take this because this one's used now the other one still this one has some wet in it oh. and this one you can just do a nice dry surface and then you can divide them up and see if they're mm -hmm. ready maybe we can divide them to like five little balls and do worms mm -hmm. the way you did it last time yeah and you're basically squishing out uh how do i say it squishing out the wet so that way it will touch the flower and then the center of it becomes dry you tell me if that's good enough. Well, yeah, you just gotta... And then once you get it like this, guys, you're gonna basically make, let's just say... Because what you're gonna do with these, you're basically gonna warm them out. Okay? Let's just say you get this. Okay? Rolling it to make it the same width. Yeah, that's, I thought you were going to finish it. I was. <laughs> yeah, that's but good. But I didn't, I didn't, I wanted, I just wanted you to check the uh, firmness of it if it was ready. Oh, I don't know. This, we're, we're, we only made it one time. Oh. What you think is so good is what I think is good. Oh, I thought that was good when I had it the first time. Oh, well, I just was worried that you weren't going to be able to roll oh. them on the fork. Oh, okay. Thanks. And this is the only thing, guys, if you want to mash it, you'll see little, um, little tiny spots like that. That's just the potato. That's why, for me, I'd be like, okay, maybe next time I'll do it. I would love a ricer now, you guys. Now that I know what I can do with it, I would love a ricer. You can do, like, two two of them, baby. Yeah, I'll do two. And then that should be kind of enough, you think, to make a dish? Yeah. And then I'll hand you the fork! Sorry, sorry. Calm down, calm down. It's just cool. It's, it's really just a cool... Um, it's a cool, like say somebody just had one potato and one egg in their house, you guys. They literally oh. can have, uh, they can have um, a very uh, bougie little fancy dinner. One of my girlfriends I was talking to the other day said, hey, are you making gnocchi? I'm making it for dinner. And I was like, bro, stop it, you are. It's just like, she would get it, I don't know, I think at Trader Joe's or something. They sell them at Costco, Trader Joe's. You don't even need it now, you guys. Once you see how easy it is, you're gonna be like, did I just pay 14 or $17? Or I don't know how much gnocchi costs, maybe it's only $7. But, or you can just grab a potato and make it yourself. All right, that's pretty even. Not okay, bad. so I'm gonna get this ready. So that way we can just drop them right in when you roll it. Mm-hmm. All right, you want me to cut them up? Yeah, and I'll, I'll do the fork. Slide over, and then you hand it to me, the little dough. Oh, wait, I need to do roll call. All right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I gotta do roll call with people. Party people! 
I'm just using this as a guide to how big I want them. So that they're all about the same size? Is that what you're Yeah, planning? just so oh, okay. they're about the same size. Hey, Regen! Oh, stop. She said her husband's already planning to feed us. That is exciting. I Let's see. I'll be listening. Okay, I'll be back. Da, da, da. Better now. All good. Sorry, you guys. I feel so bad. Running Bear, Soul Tea, Revival. Hey, I haven't seen you before. Welcome, welcome. Wispy, wispy. Marissa, Soul Tea. Marissa. My screen messed up. Is it frozen? Uh, forgot. Whisper, Soul Tea, you guys. <gasps> She's been buying tamales from the same family for 50 years. How exciting. That's cool that you buy the same ones. Burks. How are you, love? Oh, I love you, Burks. That's so nice. Thank you for popping in. I'm sorry, Marissa. I didn't get the the message. It was on the on my phone. You have you have both of our numbers, mine and Joe's. So, thank you for letting us know. Oh, pixie girl, my girl. All right. Oh my God, we're not nervous. They're like little backbones. <laughs> Vertebrae's. All right. You're going to do the forky, forky snork here. Forky, okay. fork, fork. So you can get a paddle, which I'm sure they work great. This is, oh, they're precious. Yeah. You can either dip this or get this. A little dab will do. Okay, guys. Here's your fork. And you're going to do this. Roll it, and then you can drop it. Okay. Oh, it's just the it's a forky. It's yeah, it's boiling. Yep. Yeah. Here we go, guys. Ready? You're starting back here, and you're rolling it across. It's just for prettiness. It's see the line. Pretty much, I think. And the only reason I put in a little flour so it doesn't stick to my fork. Grab your fork. It's got to be on the front, not the back end, because I tried it. <laughs> See that? You're rolling it. And just keep pushing it down. Can you see that in the window? Or in the in the window? You gonna do it, Daddy? Yeah. All right, baby. I know you want to be a perfectionist, but just have fun with it. Okay, two fingers. Press down about three, a three level of pressure. And then just keep it going all the way to the end. Press all the way to the end. I'm gonna so drop them in. Ridges. It's not boiling yet. Oh. Hey, Joe. <laughs> you got wet fingers, huh? Yeah, these are a lot firmer than our ones that we did last time, baby. Yeah? Last time we did them, they were a little bit on the softer side. That they Every time we pressed it, we didn't yeah. have enough flour because of the yolk or okay. the whites. Oh, I think our, our breadsticks are actually growing, Daddy. They're rising. Yeah, good. Guys, best migraine medicine are the off-brand at Walmart migraine medicine. The best. It will take away any migraine ever. Don't buy the expensive ones because those are too damn expensive. How's it going, sweetheart? It's going. This is in. Hey, what's up, Tess? They do look good, don't they, Wes? Dude, Regan, you know what? When you said, just now you said that, that's what somebody else told us about the about the chicken cordon bleu, that we make it look easy. Honestly, that was my biggest thing I wanted to do with our channel. I wanted things that looked un, un, unreachable, be like, I got that, that's easy. I mean, all you have to do is get the chicken breast, pat it thin or pat it down, lay this piece of cheese, lay this piece of ham, and roll it. Like, it looked doable seeing somebody do it. You know what I mean? Like, there's a, uh, this is my thing with, I love watching the cooking channels. I watch so many on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I, Joe, Joe wakes up and sometimes and I'm up at 4.30 in the morning watching cooking recipes, cooking channels, watching tips and tricks, everything. My biggest pet peeve is that a lot of the time the cooks don't do it slowly. The cooks do it so fast that I'm going, wait, 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 do it again. And I rewind it and I watch it and I'm going, okay, I still didn't answer my question. Do another look roll, baby. Do some of those. I'll, I'll grab those off. All right. Let's see. 
that was my goal for the show, you guys. I want our things to be like, here, Joe, show them again. Let's, here, let me show you guys again how we did it. I put too much water because it's taking so long. Right. Do we really need this much water, bro? Makes you want to just turn some out. I'm just doing this, and then let's uh, see what we're doing here. I'm kind of doing it like that, in a V shape, to spread it out from the middle. And then I use these last two fingers to gauge the thickness, so I can get them roughly the same all the way through. Then, if you stretch it out too much, you just roll it backwards with some pressure, and it'll it'll come back. If ever you guys want us to either redo it, show you again, um, what we did was we used a whole egg. Sometimes you have an egg that you had to use just the egg whites. You have just the yolk left. This would be that. If you take your potato skins, you're going, what? I don't want to just dump this middle. Now you have something to use it for. Honestly, that is, we. I made it the last time with margarine. We didn't need real butter. We used margarine. You don't have to use real butter for the sauce. I'm, and I even used this the cheap Parmesan, you guys. I know it'd be better. Just imagine if it's super good with this, having the real Parmesan that you grate, it would probably have been better. We just didn't have it. We, it cost a lot more money than what we're, like we, are, we allowed ourselves X amount, well, like say $70 or $50 to buy what we're gonna show on our lives for that week. So either we do one or two lives, or we are able to do five or six lives. Very much. I'm just gonna put this right there. And we also, um, like there's a purpose for why we do like the things that we're making. We, instead of using something else, I want you guys, I want everybody, not just me, not just y'all, to, you can let your daughter know. Hey, you don't use this. You don't have to buy that. Use this instead. Stop buying that packet. Um, use this instead. It's the same thing. Like your taco seasonings, your enchilada sauce. Like you're able to give that knowledge to a coworker. You're able to give it to your daughter when she comes over. Like, mom, I felt like eating this. And you're like, hey, let's make it. I got a recipe. It's really easy. All you have to do is do this, this, and this. I mean, honestly, that is my whole uh my 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 heart my heart is in it i want i want everybody to have the same ability to have good food cheap good quality food you're not paying an arm and a leg that platter last night how many times does everybody feel like just eating an order of apps when they get there imagine not having to go out to get it let's just make it stay home and make it send the daughter to go grab it send the hubby to go grab it and you're just getting the stuff ready so when he comes back, he can start making it. All right, we're ready, baby. Mm -hmm. Those balls say it's ready. All right. And then you just drop them in, you guys. I'm, that's all hold I'm hold doing. On. Better watch. You gotta, you wanna, you gotta better yeah, hold on. Three, two more. Two right. more. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let them touch because I don't like them touching because then it takes the little imprints off. All right. Here you go. Okay, guys. What they do when they go in, see them up there? Uh, they're gonna pop up to the top, little curves. And you don't even have to do it, you guys. See the little ridges? You don't have to even have the ridges. Okay. They're gonna be fine. Yeah, you can just put them in there by rolling them and cutting them in pieces. When they're done, ow! Careful. They will pop up. Little baby ridges, little baby ridges. When you see them pop up, get your little slotted spoon. Everybody thank Pixie Girl because we have quality stuff. Just kidding, guys. Calm down. Y'all keep an eye on it and start shouting when it's ready. Thank you, Daddy, for holding mm -hmm. that. And the, the, what you can do is put them in flour, parboil them, and stick them in the freezer, you guys. And then when you need them, take them out of the freezer, out of your freezer bag, off of the, the parchment paper that you had them on. Whatever way you had them before, they're like you can. Uh, we found that it's best to put them in cook them before you put them away right dad mm -hmm. because last time yeah, you have to you have to uh, boil them parboil look at babe don't show my face i'm all sweaty <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm really hot you guys it's 105 right now it's 102 it was 105 earlier 
we have both of our airs on and we are <laughs> it's hot we were like sitting down and relaxing but like ah it's cool but it don't matter it don't matter everybody we're going to michigan everybody we're going to michigan to see my first grandson's first birthday so please have prayers if y'all can pray for us look at how cute joe's the shizzles to my whizzles i mean we're excited you guys my, I, I mean obviously i i get so sad because i watch him online and wanting to see him in person and i just get limited because obviously he doesn't live with me he lives a whole other city away don't worry guys when it gets hot and yes your water should have been boiled first of course but i didn't wait because why because you're always in a hurry yes i am my love you know me doesn't Cute. do well to cook food when you're you know what life. joe you know what you know what nobody's yeah, first looking. casualty is floating around in there <laughs> Casualty's good in this instance. So now they're they're starting to pop up to the top. See, I'm floating all on their little baby own. Once they float to the top, they are done. Look at guys, you don't have to have the ridges. Just have little V's, flat. But on the other side, we have ridges. <laughs> but who cares, you guys? Just do a little slice of it. Yeah, it's for... They're, it's just for purposes of what it's going to look yeah, like. Yeah, so it looks nice when you put it on your plate instead of just big old yes. flat chunks of, of potato. All right. Um, yeah, what is right this? Right yep, I think it will. And then um, we're going to make our sauce, you guys. I'm going to start so, lifting up the ones that are floating. I'm not going to pick them up from the bottom because the ones on the bottom aren't ready yet. Okay, guys? Oh, which Oh, sorry. There you go. There you go. Okay, ready? Skill I'm grabbing the these top top ones. Boing. Just kidding. I'm doing the Joe making sounds. <laughs> you guys, if you guys, that's why I always ask you, is there something you guys want to learn? Like, say you're sitting home and you're going, man, I wish I knew how to make homemade brownies. Send me a thing. I made homemade brownies. And I went over to my niece's house and I was like, hey, you guys want brownies? And my sister-in-law was like, I don't think we have any brownie mix in there. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to make them from like scratch it's really easy you just mix your dry with your wet dry and wet separate and then you mix them together and once you know how to make them it's it's literally so easy to make them yeah plus after you've boiled them now now you can freeze them yes that's a, that yeah you're right you can put them either in here or put them in parchment paper but they can be froze now don't freeze them before baby you think that's gonna be enough for, for dinner <laughs> yeah it'll be fine Sure. <laughs> I right. can start making the sauce. It's okay. I'll make some more. I mean, they took three minutes, bro. I know. Whoa. It don't take long. Nope. Did I grab those from the floor? You guys don't let me grab them off the ground. <laughs> or the ground or the bottom or whatever they're called. Not the yeah, floor. Yeah, don't take them from the bottom. I won't take them from the floor. You guys, that's it. The gnocchi is now done. Yeah, and ready, it's just ready, to be, ready for be sauce to be fried up in, in a sauce, sauce or whatever. In a sauce, come on, the sauce, Daddy. Should I start getting my stuff ready for the sauce? Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say, you guys. You guys stop me from talking. If there's something that you guys are like, oh my God, I want to make Bill, or I want to make Mike, or Dave, or whatever. If there's something you wanted to make for, let's just say you have a friend. Or you're, you want to just know how because you've seen it made and you want somebody to do it for you. One, so they can give you an idea of what it tastes like, is it good or not. But also, so somebody can tell you that, like, oh no, like, let's try that again because it didn't work. Like, that's what we do. We go over it. Like, Joe's making them how many times versus watching the video and it didn't work. You don't even have to do those if you don't want, baby. I'll just throw them in. Okay. Because we already showed how to do it. We're just now doing it for food. Just purposes. for food. For food purposes. Okay, let's just do them up, baby. I'll do one on a fork. I'm gonna do it right into the water, you guys. Oh shit! Why are you guys over there? Because I'm like, there. where'd you go? I'm trying to do it right into the water. Don't splash it on me, bro. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> All right. Okay. There's for dinner. Got two more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ready? 
So okay. as soon as these come up, come on over. Hey, Dizzy! Dennis! This is now, cons you guys, you know what? They even have, um, what is it called? Uh, what is the stuff we made? Gnocchi. They have gnocchi de pan, which means bread in Spanish. But also Italian and Spanish are similar in, in language. It's called gnocchi de pan. So people, what you do is basically get the bread, mulsify it down, like squish it, like like you tear it, you put it a bunch of pieces in a bowl, and then you like put, I think they put milk in it, and then you like squish it, and then you get the, uh, what's it called? You put, the, how am I, is it that they did it? You put flour, a lot of it's the same thing. And I was like, bro, no way. They used bread instead of if you didn't have potatoes. But it, look up gnocchi de pan. It's a G-N-O-C-H. Yeah. I don't know, whatever I was spelled, C-H-I. And then D-E, like de, pan. P-P-A-N means bread, pan. Like pan, pan, you know? Pan, pan. Pan. Okay, these are done. They're all floating to the baby top. We're taking them out. And I'm not putting them in my pan because I want to do something before I get... I just figured I'd do these because... Because... What are we going to do with it? <laughs> what eat it? I'm going to start cooking my sauce. Mm. Come on. Okay. Well, I'll tell you guys, you know what? Wait till your water's boiled because once your water's boiled, it goes a lot faster. Because when it wasn't boiled, when I put it in there, it actually just dropped the temperature. And I had to wait twice as long. Damn. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. The man's not allowed to speak. Old Joe was not so stupid after Oh, Joe sure is stupid, though. I know. I'm sorry. That wasn't very nice. He's very cute. How about that? There you go. That's more like it. Okay. They just need to be like this. Do that. Do that? I want, yeah, I don't want them square, bro. Who eats square gnocchi? We do. <laughs> Here, just do that. Look at how fast, you guys, when I put them, when I drop them in, how fast they bobble up if I would have waited. If I would have waited, you guys, look at how fast. Versus Yvonne thought, ew, she's going to be quicker. No, Yvonne was wrong. Joe was right. You'll never hear that from this mouth. I mean, imagine one potato cooking us dinner or one potato making us a very elegante dinner. Look at how fast they're going to come up, you guys. I was impressed. What's up, baby? Oh, baby, look at who's here. She always walks by and goes, who's Looks here? Very nonchalant. She, well, she puts her nose and lifts up the blind so she can see outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that way, the, the, the cool part, you guys, is I didn't have to keep track of which were the last ones going in. They're going to let me know. See, look at them. The ones that are ready, they're letting me know. Everybody, Pixie, Pixie, Pixie. Pixie, we love you. Floater. Floater. Floater means they want, they're they begging to come out and join the party. That's right. You, what's that movie called that I, I hated because it was so vulgar? Oh, I don't know. Uh, about food. Oh, uh, shizzles. It was so vulgar about yes, food? I, yes, you know what I'm talking about. I, was I thought like, you were talking about human centipede. Oh, my God, Joe, please <laughs> don't bring up none of that. that is There's a wicked. movie called, like, Food Party or something like that. Oh, oh, Sausage Party. It is is the most vulgar it's show vulgar. especially ever. at the end it's all vulgar yeah. it's all vulgar well it's really bad at the end it's more like oh i didn't even say yeah, shit. You, you were i'm gonna say shit. don't mention none of the jokes on it <laughs> they're very vulgar jokes i have to tell my husband not to say any of the jokes you guys because the jokes are very 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 vulgar very vulgar anyways what i was gonna say about it is somebody was gonna use a hot dog or something like that and they were like, um, the bun was asking like, oh, you're the lucky one. Or what was it, a cucumber that they peeled the skin? No, or potato. potato. They peeled they the skin. They thought they were going to like the Nirvana. Yeah. And then they, once they got bought, they, they were so glad they got bought and then taken home to the, to the promised land. Yes, And then when yes. they started, they wanted to eat the potatoes, the, you know, they started peeling the potatoes, which was just, and the was and the little potato. Alive, eh? Yeah, the potatoes like ah! <laughs> it was 
It was so funny. It was it wrong. Was, yeah, that part was. It was wrong. Daddy, put that one over there, please. Nothing like being skinned alive. That to one over there. Get a good laugh. All right, guys. Now we got our gnocchi ready to go. You all saw it from beginning to now. And we didn't, you guys, if it's just a small, you guys, we did all this. You don't have to do this much. If it's just you making it for yourself. That was you, like two potatoes. Yep, two potatoes. Dryer. That's, that's, that'll feed, you know, at least two people, three people maybe. This is butter. There's the R from the butter. Darn it. That's R. We're putting butter in it, you guys. It's a really easy, really easy. Hey, what was that? Wasn't that the song that we were watching that one Instagram? And apparently that song means something in Mexico. Like, oh yeah, shaving a haircut. Yeah, that's what you Mexicans have a whole other haircut. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, just that's one? So is that one or two garlic cloves? That is one garlic clove. Three tablespoons of butter, two garlic cloves. Okay, guys. Two medium If you don't garlic. want garlic cloves, last time we used garlic powder. Very Use nice. what your heart desires. Mm. Yeah. Use whatever your corazón quieres. Okay? Don't feel obligated to do anything that we're doing. We're not here to manhandle you into doing something. We're here just to have a good time. Good times. Yeah. <laughs> more butter? Yeah, I wanted to put a little bit more so we have enough because we got to make it nice and healthy. <laughs> uh, yeah. Let me put this in a little cup for me just so I don't have to have the whole thing over it. Yeah. Um, I got my my heat on low. You don't want your butter. There's nothing wrong with browned butter because there was actually a recipe with browned butter sauce. This is just not that recipe. This is melted butter, melted garlic. Have a cup of butter there, or have a cup of butter. Okay, whole milk, you can, heavy cream if you want heavy cream. You can either use tomato sauce right here and a splash of milk, okay? Tomato sauce and a splash of milk. I'm doing just a garlicky, creamy sauce versus a tomato flavored sauce. My husband cannot eat tomato late at night because he has uh, just a heartburn and I'm being considerate of him. I got it right there, Daddy. Oh. Thank you, though. You're welcome. So right now I have heavy cream, garlic, and butter. I put the butter in first, then I put the garlic in. Once you smell your garlic, that means your aroma is kicked in. You're able to start doing the rest of the things you want to do to it. Don't do anything to it that you wouldn't want done to you. <laughs> Shut up. And I'm putting... Do you have any blue plate specials? I think... I just washed them, didn't I? Uh... I thought so. Mm, there. No. Wait for your milk to get warm. You guys, and hey, hey, you guys, it's me. Hey, it's us. You guys, using real Parmesan that you grade is going to taste fabulous. We don't have it, so we're moving on with reg with just, just the basic Parmesan. That's why when I say Parmesan cheese, you guys are going to be like, what? That don't look like Parmesan. It's Parmesan. It's Parmesan. You can add red pepper flakes, add some spice if you want it. We're doing just a creamy garlicky sauce, guys. Okay, we're doing just a creamy. And I this isn't really um, Alfredo-y because I would do it totally different. It would be a whole different thing. It'd be like heavy whipping cream and it just would be different. I make You're it with a pretty high, medium high to high. Mm -hmm. And I'm making just a, like a thick sauce in it. You're basically getting your cheese and your garlic and your butter to become one with each other. I can either add more garlic, I can add more cheese, I can add a little bit more milk. It's a see how it looks, you guys. The you can, cheese is thickening it up. Yep, basically. yep. The powdered cheese, you guys. If it was real, I mean, I don't think this is not real Parmesan. No, it's just grated. It's just grated it's too it's very fine. Into a powder. Yeah, yeah <laughs> that's what I was just gonna say. Powdered it. You want to throw some gnocchi? Gnocchi. Bring it. More? Yeah, throw it all in. Oh, there you go. Sure. I can always add a little bit more milk just to get some more sauce. You can add some basil to it, you guys. Salt and pepper, Daddy? Salt. 
Mm-hmm. That's good. Jeez. What kind of salt are you trying to get to? <laughs> you can add a little bit of your starch water in here if you want to. You don't have to. Don't add any more black pepper, please. No problem. And there is actually a black pepper, like you get pepper balls, like the peppercorns, and you roast them in here. And oh, then yeah. it's actually, it's called it something. It gets you the pepper flavor. Yep. Turn your fire a little high. You can add, I mean, you can add whatever you want in here, you guys. It's your flavors. I did more of a garlic creamy sauce. That's what this is. If you want it to be more of, um, I mean, why not put Cajun? We always eat stuff with Cajun sauce. We have, the other day I made something with that. Yeah. This, we just made this recipe, oh. and this is your vegetarian meal for the day. Just kidding. We're going to do a pasta dish later with everybody. You guys, you can, if you, let's just say you had chicken breast grilled in here. You can add it. If you could have chicken breast in here, it's basically what they taste like is like, they're almost like a, um, um, uh, well, I mean, they taste a little bit like noodles, like egg noodles-ish. Then you just put the flavor you want with it. <coughs> All right, let's move things out of the way. Why do I sing everything? I do not know. Are you ready, kid? Yeah. All right, come on. Well, that wasn't bad. In one hour, we're having homemade gnocchi. Look at it, guys. All done. Done. We went from beginning to end. You got your leftover from the night before potato skins, and you said, I'm not going to dump those. What am I going to make with them? Exactly. And you're making something that's... Pff, you were going to dump it, or whatever you were going to do, you're not doing, because now yeah, you have I mean, a, you, you a just, dish. Either save it for breakfast or whatever. Make fried taters. Let's do a tink. Or you can make mashed potatoes, smashed potatoes with the skins in it. Mm -hmm. uh, you can do all kinds of stuff. Whatever you can make a potato with. Mm -hmm. Once it's uh, chopped up like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you can do diced onion in here. I didn't want to do the diced onion. I didn't want to do anything but garlic, but you can put onion powder, garlic powder, and do it a whole seasoning different. The, the, the sauce I made that one day Joe really liked. And before I wanted to, like, I wanted it to be a very garlicky sauce, not not garlic, onion. Onion does always make things good. Trust me, it's not a bad thing. Babe, don't. I'm real, really bad, you guys. I'm sorry. I look really rough. I'm really hot. Sorry, guys. All right, let's do this. All right. I got to get a soda. <laughs> Stop. Hey, we'll just put it on me. You know what? They look good in my lion's hat. <laughs> Okay. Lions, they're already picked to win the NFC North. By, by accident, they're chosen. Okay, guys. You ready? I'm sorry for anybody. Let's look at any questions. How about that? Nobody has any? No, no questions. This? Ready? Here we go, Pixie. No this, comments, Milltown. no questions, nothing. Baby, Milltown, how does it look compared to yours? Mama, you made it the other day. Sorry, guys, if that really grossed you out. I didn't mean for it, too. I know, onion and garlic are everything. And I just want to tell you, Pixie, I have what the feeling of, like what you were talking about the other day, of like, oh my God, my children are like full grown. Like what you had said about all that, just know that I am right with you, a thousand percent. Anyways, let's do this, you guys. Okay, I love you. I'll talk to you guys later when we're over there. Is that? Right. Queen came in. Hi, Queen. Yoki. Okay, here we go. Tink, we both put you. Tink. 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 You guys, look at that juices. Look at the juices. That little gnocchi. Look at it. Mmm. It looks so gnocchi. Oh, uh, I should get some. The ones that we that we rolled. Mmm. Those look better. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. For the mm. first time that I'm tasting it, it's really good. Mmm. You guys, look at how good. Stuff here. Mm. These are the ones we rolled so they're a little more uniform. Once you do that with the fork, 
just to make them look nice. You know, they look a lot nicer, they look more presentable. Rather than, say, one of these. And they got sauce. Who the hell cares what they right. look like? They're going I mean, in the We're just eating. Mm. We're good. Very good. Good? Yeah. You guys, you know how to make it. It took our potatoes we used last night, one egg yolk, and about a good mm. cup and a half of flour. That's good. Freckle face, you're here. I missed everybody. Who's all here? I missed everybody, you guys. What's it? Okay. Everybody, it's almost like, why not do it? What What were you going to do with your other stuff? You're going to dump it. You're going to make something with it. You, you have, I literally put about... About a half a cup of milk total, maybe three quarters of a cup of milk total. I put Parmesan powder, the cheap Parmesan. Didn't buy the $8 Parmesan little square. About the cheap Parmesan. Because that's us. That's just us. Okay. It was a potato that was left over, an egg yolk, and flour. That's it, guys. And I put, the last time I made it, I made it with margarine. The only reason I have butter is because I needed to make something else that needed butter. So, Margin, margarine works just fine. It doesn't need to have butter. It's just, look at how pretty. Mm. Okay, settle down. Settle down, you guys. Okay, Joe. Salty whisper, freckle face. Steph, can it be overcooked? Sav, I think when they, they float them... to the top, yeah. they probably would get waterlogged or very hard and firm. I don't know. But when it floats to the top, it tells you take it out. Yeah. Um, but let's just say you were you forgot they were on the stove. I, I'm sure they could get very hard. Yeah, we're not sure what that would be like. I'm not sure what it's like because thank God they gave me an indicator and it's floating to the top going, take me out of here. And I'm like, bro, I want you out of there too so I can go on to the next step. Um, yeah. They're, they're kind of easy. They're yeah, really easy. Good, Use a fork and roll it over. Yes, please, Susie, send me a recipe. Send it. If you have things that you guys want to make, but you're not sure if you could, like, how do I do it? What do they mean by this? Send me a recipe. Send me the recipe. I would love to. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You guys, I am just letting everybody know any tips we get from any of our over this next weekend we're using for gas to get to Michigan. Our Amazon wish list has get a Visa cards strictly for our gas i don't mean to offend anybody please forgive me if you if it bothered you that i put uh visa cards it's just so we'll have gas um cash app paypal we're really 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 trying to get um just trying to make it uh doable for us to go up there and uh we just we we have to get our stuff out of our storage unit it was i mean luckily our our son's birthday is the weekend but we have to, it's just an op, it's, we gotta get there. Um, my dad's chair, my dad has uh, two or three things in there and I can't have them keep it. They just bought, they sold the owner. The owner bought, sold it and and they apologized, but apology ain't gonna help me. You know what I mean? I'm all the way over here. They don't know that I'm all the way over here. They're just saying, hey, you gotta get your stuff. And so we gotta do what we gotta do. So either way we're going to Michigan because my uh, stuff has got to be moved. We got to save my daddy's stuff. And because my grandson's up there, we're, we're, on, we're not going to be able to see him for two or three days because it's going to take us a lot of days to move the stuff. We're old. We're going to have to spend a good three days moving stuff. <sighs> uh, anyways, I love everybody. Go make you some gnocchi. Make yourself some gnocchi. Consider yourself overworked. You know what? Don't do anything. Make the baked, have the baked potato you made. Thank you, queen. You guys, get the potatoes that you made last night and just throw butter in it and have mashed potatoes. If you've got the extra oomph of energy, fine. Then throw in the egg yolk and the flour. Treat yourself, you guys. No one's going to treat you the way you deserve to be treated but you. Remember that. The neighbor is not going to remember that you're a special person. You've been through a lot and it's been a hell of a week. You know that. Treat you better than what you would even think 
Because you have to remember, you guys, the only people that know what you're de dealing and battling daily, psychologically, mentally, physically, is you. So be good to you. Be good to your mind. Hop off YouTube every now and then. Hop out of a, in a discussion, like with a girlfriend. If it's online, it's on the phone. Give yourself some downtime. Give yourself some time to regroup and realize, like, I don't, you know, I don't need to get this worked up. It's not that important to me. You is more important than any app online. You, I love everybody in here, but I love knowing that people aren't in here because they're out with the family. A couple of people are like, this is date night. Do date night. Hit replay. Come and watch later. Please, I will be here. I'm not going anywhere. Um... Oh, you live in Colorado. Oh, I would love that. I love you guys. Everybody, Pixie Girl, Wispy. I love you guys. Thank you. I'm, I do feel very blessed that I have a husband who does cook with me. He is very, um, he enjoys it. He enjoys being in the kitchen. I enjoy him being in the kitchen. We work together as a great team. Colorado is a good, is a beautiful place. Yes, you got to take a break, Pixie. Yeah, we'll I really appreciated your... Um, we drove through Colorado and we dropped off our daughter. Dixie, I loved when we went to L.A. I felt like I was in L.A. Like we were driving down the street and I was like, this is so cool. It was just cool. Thank you for taking us on your trip. It was just amazing. And I know it was just like down the road for you, but it was like, oh, my God, in the middle of the night, I'm in Colorado. I'm in, uh, I'm in uh, L.A. on the highway. Yeah, for sure, Salty. Like, remember that. Just... If take nothing out of this life, forget the recipe. Remember this. You, your brain, your heart, your every, your body is more valuable than anything you got in life, online, any argument at work, any disagreement at the corner when you guys get to a stop, any road. Remember your mindset is the most important you're the one that has to go home and be a whole person for your children for your husband look yourself in the mirror you have to make sure you're right and you can't be a whole person for them if you're barely holding it together for you so just know that your kids deserve your husband but you deserve you deserve peace of mind you deserve a soul that isn't hearing argument and fighting and even out on the street, you guys. I mean, you can't even have the window open sometime. You hear people screaming at each other, and you're just like, holy crap, what's going on out there? Be good to you. No one's going to take care of you the way only you would. You get it? Like, I, I'm not going to take care of you. You you could be a very good best friend of mine. But I, I won't be able to do... I won't be able to um, per shield you and protect you the way you go, hey, I got to protect myself. Because I'll go, hey, take care of yourself. But you can only take care of you that good. So I said all that. Go visit your family. I'm sorry I kept you guys this long. Um, there's a link up there, you guys. We appreciate everybody that's here. We appreciate everybody that's come in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I just, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. My channel's blessed. My subs that come to me and come in here and come in. I feel like you guys are at our kitchen. That's just what I feel like. I feel like y'all joined us at the kitchen table. Y'all are hanging out with us. And I feel like you guys are sitting at the table with us. So I feel blessed that y'all considered me like uh, worthy to stop and visit. Like, you know, like a visiting your friends or relatives or something. And you they go, just come by anytime. I feel like that. Like, just come by anytime. So I love no, that you guys. <laughs> y'all come back Joe's all extra y'all come back now you're here <laughs> I love you no I don't want that what? I didn't want to cuddle I wanted to they, cuddle. they were separated in the middle from the I did, I know. I did it the long way I and then I, cut it. I don't want that it's okay. it's okay what I just don't I wanted to hear I want no it's okay it's okay it's okay there you it's go. okay that's oh. different these are for you look at my balls this is dough we're gonna do roll it in butter and maybe um well you can do cinnamon sugar or you can do garlic and butter but i we might do half in cinnamon sugar and half in garlic but it was a dough um, our neighbor was giving away like hey i don't need all frozen loaf i only need like one or two and i was like shit i'll take it 
I let it rise for five or six hours, yeah. and now we made little balls. So that's our plan. We're baking them. They'll be almost like breadsticks for the gnocchi, right? Okay, I love you guys. I know I love balls. <laughs> I love balls too. Oh, yeah, I do love balls though. Okay, guys, y'all are getting me out of character. Shingo. I got to get off here before y'all have me saying all crazy stuff. We only get like this over on Wispies, not over here. No, I'm just kidding. I love you guys. You guys be careful. We love you guys. And we will. <laughs> I know that's like the worst thing ever. I love all of you people. I'll see you guys. Uh, we might be doing a live tomorrow because we're trying to get our goal. We're going to probably do uh, the uh, center cut grilling. Of center. He's going to do a rub on the center loin or the center cut. Bye, freckle face. The center cut loin thing, like, um, it's just a pork loin, a center cut pork loin. He's going to put a rub on it. We're going to put it on the, on the, on the grill. We're going to cook it, get it done, slice it into pieces and put his bourbon sauce that we made four or five days ago. I love you guys. <laughs> it's only been three days? I think so. Three days ago we made the sauce. We're going to get rid of it and it's good. I'm sure for longer, but it's just really good. We want to eat it all. Good night, baby. Good night, everybody. I love everybody. Bye, queen. I love you, mama. I love you. I love all of you peoples. You guys bring me so much uh, joy. Like, just really, you guys do. You guys bring me so much joy. And I appreciate that. So. All right. Bye. Uh.